Okay. <clears throat> to all you wonderful and amazing and awesome and even not awesome males out there and to your female mates, uh, the admirers of certain men. Guys, 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 just because a girl is nice to you or friendly towards you does not mean she is interested in you at all. Not romantically, not sexually, not at all. Like, seriously, not at all. Girls, just because, you know, you know, ladies, whatever, just because a girl is nice to your man or friendly towards him does not mean she is interested in him at all. Not romantically, not sexually, not at all. Period. Okay? Especially girls like me. I am super friendly to everyone. And I have lots of friends and acquaintances. And, you know, guys, while I may actually like you as a person, or respect who you are, or admire what you do, that does not mean I am the least bit interested in you in any plato non-platonic relations kind of way whatsoever. Alright, crying out loud, I'm still waiting for marriage. I got pissed off at my ex last year for ruining my first kiss, and I'm taken by an awesome dude right now. So, do you really think that my non-sexually forward mind is ever thinking about you in that way? The answer is no. I know, you know, God placed an ego inside your brain to make you, you know, think that, you know, you have a better chance than you do that girls are more interested in than they are, so that you will continue the life cycle by pursuing women. I know that's how, you know, biology works, but no, not interested. All right, I know my friendliness can be mistaken for flirtation, or my flir playful flirtation can be mistaken for serious interest, but... You know, if you're afraid of me uh, taking you out of your relationship with somebody else, or you've done some dirt and you're afraid I'm that girl who's going to take you back to all that when you're trying to clean up your life now and change your ways, you are so wrong. Okay, backwards and blindly mistaken is what you are, buddy. I am quite the opposite. All right, I want you to get on and stay on the right path. I want people's relationships to work out, especially if they love each other or at least treat each other right, you know, non-abusive, non-cheating, non-Rihanna and Chris Brown. I want the best for everyone. You know, I am no Jezebel or homewrecker or side salad, have never been and will never be, all right? It's deplorable, all right? Like I've always said, I'm the future presentation and I expect my man to be as noble and character driven as I am. And he is. <laughs> and not only that, but also, and this is the point here. Not only is my mind focused on my future, my career, my social activism, political campaigning, music, writing, job, family, friends, the boyfriend, cancer-stricken dog that I'm trying to fix up and take care of, and God, my God. But even if I was available and limitless with time and resources to go wherever and do whatever I want, and I even was interested in you, I'll be honest, I'm old school. I, I always have been, always will be, okay? My mantra is, is, seriously, I am not going to chase you down. I will not chase you, all right? Because I don't chase men, all right? Men chase me, and that's the way it should be. I think it should be the way for the entire uh, human race. <laughs> I actually, um, I don't like it when I see women chasing men. It feels backwards and unnatural and wrong to me. So expect a man, you know, I, I expect a man who wants... Um, to be with me to come get me, you know? And if he doesn't, then that simply means he's not my type. Because I want a hunter, not a berry picker. Sorry. I, I mean, I gotta, you know, I gotta be with an aggressive man, you know, who will straight up pick me up and carry me off into the sunset. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do this whole new age namby pamby, but I want her to make the first move, you know, modern sissy crap. I just, no, dude. If, that's just lame, okay? If sorry, you know, if you can't get her, you don't you don't need her. If you can't get her, you don't deserve her. I mean, you know what I mean? You're you're the man. Be the man. Go get her. I'm just saying, like that may sound mean, but seriously, put down the estrogen bottle and pick up the testosterone bottle and go after her. That's all I'm saying, you know. I know it's tough for guys these days, in all days, because you know you're expected to be the aggressive, which means you face more rejection than women usually do. So of course it's easier, uh, you know, for, to say than to do. But still. Man up, okay? I'm just saying, okay? Like, some of the best things in this world you got to fight for. You know? Your future wife or a lady friend included. Because if you don't go get her, someone else will. I don't care if you're in a small podunk town. If you think that, you know, your ish don't, don't stink and that, you know, you could get anything and girls are, like, you know, outnumber men, like, five to one. Like, you know, there's five women to every man. It doesn't matter. 
some guy can visit where you live and come take your girl and you know leave with her you know what i'm saying or or you know just you know come and move in and 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 swoop her up you know or she can leave the town and go to somewhere else i'm just saying you know don't be complacent is what i'm trying to say you know and your ish does stink just letting you know that all right but you know especially and you got to be this way you got to be this way you got to think like this it's, you know like you know if you want it go get it you know especially if you ever want a girl like me all right because if i'm your type and you meet a girl like me then you're gonna have to get up and go freaking get her because she ain't gonna come to you pal and, i mean because if she does come to you then she's coming to you as a friend she's coming to you as a playmate she's coming to you as somebody that you know she enjoys the company of for non-romantic non-love reasons you know because i'm not i'm not the type of girl to to you know you know just to have like a like a physical relationship with somebody and not have like you know a, a love connection or a romance connection or whatever and you know if you want somebody who is like me you know she is not going to come to you and and also expect you to be her man she comes to you that means you're friends and you, you know, that's a bad place to be if you want her as more than a friend because once you're in the friend zone it's hard to leave you know you gotta go get her but my main point here is i digress sorry i have add i kind of you know go off sometimes even if all the odds were in your favor i still wouldn't be trying to hunt you seduce you trick or trap you into anything that's what i'm trying to say so stop acting like you're scared of me just because i'm freaking nice to you is what i'm saying you know it's stupid it's annoying it's weak just be my friend and in time you will see that you never actually had a chance with me to begin with <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, um, that's not what I meant to say, um, haha. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, guys, was when a girl is nice to you or outwardly friendly, it doesn't automatically mean she's into you like that, you know? It could just be that she's just friendly. Or, you know, and to be honest, the friendliest girls are usually the least likely to sleep with you. Seriously. They're the least likely to get down with you because they are more firm and centered inside. You know, that is why they are so nice and friendly. Because they are whole inside. They want to give life to others, not simply take life with selfish indulgence or perversion or deceit. You know, they're not trying to just mess things up. They're actually trying to do something productive, trying to contribute something to the world. So it's really the quiet freaks and nasty bitches who will chase you down and give it up to you in a New York minute. Those are the ones you gotta look out for. They are the easy ones who can lead you astray out of your relationship or out of your good path or whatever. You know, the not the happy-go-lucky nice girls like me. We aren't even thinking like that. And if we, if it even, if it even trips in, in over our minds, it doesn't mean anything because we wouldn't act on anything. Like we, we, even if we are attracted to you, we wouldn't act on it. Like it's just, it's not our nature. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not. We, it's just not the way we are. It's like, you know, we're a different species, you know? We're not that, 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 we're not that type of woman, is what I'm trying to say. So, we will never, ever, ever sleep with you, you know, unless, you know, we're either married or close to married or something in a strong, committed adult relationship, you know what I'm saying? So stop stressing over our friendliness like we're a threat to your virtue or going to make you do bad things or lure you into a dark alley somewhere and do bad things to you. <laughs> That's for after we're married, okay? I'm just saying, you know, I know women, we can be scary. I mean, truly scary, you know? You have every right to be afraid of my gender. I mean, I am. But dang, man, just grow up and stop taking kindness for sluttiness, okay? I'm just saying. All right, we're nice girls. That doesn't mean we're easy girls, okay? In fact, we're quite the opposite, all right? So just remember that, all right? Thank you. <laughs>